Hello, everyone around the USA and actually around the world. I hope you're all doing well tonight. Monday night, November 14, 2016, uh, coming to you live from Orange County, California. My name is John DeVries, and I want to welcome everybody tonight to this Facebook Live. And uh, it's something different that I've, that I've really ever done and talked about and spoken about. But um, tonight's going to be something really from my heart and from someone that has lived many different, uh, I would say, lives, but has lived through many different uh, issues that we've come across the last few months through what's going on in the U.S. And uh, first off, I want to say tonight is this is a personal uh, message to everybody. It has nothing to do with the company that I own. It is my personal views and my way to uh, for for me to share my ideas and feelings to uh, to the United States and to the people and my fellow Americans. And so again, welcome tonight uh, to the Facebook Live. You know, over the last, I would say, three, four weeks, I've been myself engulfed in what has been going on in the U.S. And um, it's been crazy. And, and I'll tell you, it's uh, truly been something remarkable to watch and for me to really grasp around it. But uh, I want to start off real quick. Before I get into what I believe is happening and why this is tonight, why I call it the next four years, uh, because it's really, the, it's, it's a new life. And I think that I, myself, from the company side, and my personal need to go live and prepare for the next four years. And you say to yourself is, you know, who is John DeVries? Who is this guy? Who is this guy on Facebook? You know, I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a young man. I'm 50 years old. I started my business when I was in my late teens. I've been through uh, the ups and the downs. I'm an entrepreneur that's invested in many different industries. I, I started with nothing, and I became, because of my tenacity and my hard work, I became something. And so I've been, I've hired thousands and thousands of team members and, and family members. I call my family. And so I know the side of the business. <clears throat> I understand the side of of many different aspects of what's going on. And so I'm just a, a, a business owner, a CEO and a founder of companies who really wants to change the U.S. and maybe not just the U.S. but the world. And that's why I'm here tonight to talk about the next four years and how I believe strongly on certain things. And uh, so it's really given me the, the gratification to share. I share it every day with people. And now I can probably reach people around the world because I say this and I say around the world, folks, is what's happened over the last few months with the presidential election. And it's brought up every day to me. And it's brought up about, they say, John, what do you think about what's happened with the presidential elect Donald Trump? And what do you think? And going into it, everybody said, what, who do you predict? Because I got, I'm blessed by the man upstairs to have the ability to, to uh, really kind of forecast where things go and don't. Everybody asked me. And I really didn't get into the discussions because I'm a guy who believes in one thing. And I believe in unity. So, you know, no matter what I believe in, you know what, it doesn't matter other than I know I need to get behind America and get behind, if it was Hillary Clinton that got in, I was going to get behind her, rally and understand and believe in her. If it's Donald Trump, I was going to get behind him and believe and rally behind him. So I'm not here to talk about who voted for what, in, in, in any of that, it's all about one thing, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to start tonight with this. Because I've lived every part of it. I have an interracial baby. I'm married to a, a black woman. I have been in many interracial um, relationships. I do business all around the world. So I understand the world and I understand all cultures. And I'm going to say this. It doesn't matter if you're black 
you're white, Hispanic, Asian, what country you're from, what sex preference, what anything, what religion you are. The world basically has the same goals in life. One, to have a better life. Two, to give your kids the opportunity to grow up and be something. Three, to enjoy things that you want to buy or travel or not. And four is to eat and feed yourself. And five is to have health care so you can stay healthy. We all as people, as individuals, it's not Americans, it's not Europeans, it's not Africans, it's not Asians. It's everybody has the ultimate same goal. And I've never understood why we can't all come together. And I say this because I've been in business for 30 plus years. And I will say, the best CEO in the world is not the man with the ideas. It's not. Trust me. The best CEO in the world is the man that knows how to bring people together and to build the team to build the best company. But it's not the man with all the ideas. So I say to everybody, and I completely respect all of the, the, the people around the country, the United States, that are marching for free speech. I love it. Peaceful protests, peaceful rallies. It's great. Express how you feel. Because that's great. That's what America's about. That's what the world's about. We all do not have to agree on everything. But what we need to do is respect one another. We're going to disagree. We're going to agree to disagree on everything. We are going to that is the, the that is what the world and that's what USA that's way that how the world goes around. But what we need to learn is respect, integrity, trust. We need to rally together. We all know that the election is over. Our new president will be in January, Mr. Donald Trump. I understand he's offended women, he's offended people. But I do believe in life that everyone in this world has done said something or done something they wish they never did. And I know every single one of them and every one of us have had a second chance. And I know for a fact what this man might have said or Hillary said or Hillary did with emails or not, that's the past, ladies and gentlemen. We need to, we need to come together. We need Donald Trump to be the president and to be that CEO who knows how to put the people together, black, white, Hispanic, Muslims, everything. And I believe for a fact that if we together, all of us, Instead of going against each other, if we do some of the things that I'm getting ready to share with you, and you allow yourself to instead of go out there and have these, these protests and these rallies that are disruptive, go out there and sit with your senators, sit with your people, send in what your comments. My, pro my issue is this, as a business owner, let's start with me as a business owner. I've been a business owner since eight, 17, 18 years old. I've employed thousands of people. I've provided health insurance. I've given full-time jobs, part-time jobs. Understand, when things change, it's going to affect everything. When you change the small business sector, which is 70%, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it's a technical difficulties, but when you change the way this, the whole business sector that the, the, the owner of the company has, has to run his company, you affect the whole country and the whole world. And I say this, let's start there. When the health insurance changed, you all know that the in premiums gone through the roof. And everyone says, well, there's so many, 30 million people got health insurance that didn't have it. And I love it. But there's millions that got the premiums are so high that they got off of it. That's not the way, that's not the way 
to cure this problem. The way to cure the problem is to educate people, Americans, on how to move forward. The, 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 the way to do this is, is for everybody to be have health insurance because they got jobs and the job and the owners of the businesses can afford to pay for the health insurance for the employee who now has a great job and has health insurance. And let me give you an example. I have a 40 hour staff who makes $20 an hour. That's $800 a week, $800 a week. And that person has health insurance. So say that's $500 for an individual in the state of California, okay, a month. I now put her or he on 28 hours a week because we can't afford all the high premiums for health insurance for all the staff. So we put her on or he on 28 hours a week times 20 is $560. That, that individual lost $240 a week in income, plus now has to pay health insurance of 500 or she or he gets fined at the end of the year. So really, she or he has almost lost $1,600 a month because the business side can't afford it. So that's not the solution of just providing everybody with health insurance. Let's create jobs. Let's give the reason for people to move ahead and be ahead at the end of the year. You know, I gotta say this. I hear it every day and since I've been a young child. I've heard it when I started my business. Why should I work? John, why should I work? Because it costs me more to work than it is stay at home because of childcare. Why don't we pro rally out there for our new president to say, you know what? Let's regulate insurance companies. Let's regulate insurance companies to now cover 70% of child care. So that way, the man or a woman has a reason to go to work. Because you know what? Child care today, if it's two kids, it's almost $3,000 a month, full time. Some people don't even earn that. So you know what they say? Why go to work? If I can't get ahead, why go to work? So what they do is they don't get a job, they don't apply for a job, and now they go on welfare and they collect health insurance from the government. That's not, the solution is not that. The solution is to educate our people how to get ahead at the end of the year. Hey, now your health insurance, you've got a full-time job, the company paid in the insurance, your insurance pays 70% of your child care, and by the end of the year, you're $10,000 ahead where you were when it was more than you were in January. That's the way to do it, is to educate. I'm not talking education, going to school, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about educating our people on how to get ahead and a reason why to get ahead. You know, I live it. I understand the racism in, in the U.S. and around the world. I live it. A biracial daughter, a, 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 a black wife. But you know what? I make people respect me because I respect them. And I understand it will always be out there. But we can come together. I'm better with my wife than I am without her. If I have a two-year-old daughter and I work so much, without my wife, I could never raise my daughter. That tells you I'm better with my wife, the two of us together, than I am by myself. We as a country are better together, black, white, Muslim, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. We are better together as Americans than we are apart. So it doesn't matter to me if you're Democrat, Republican, Independent, or nothing. Your views mean a lot. But if you could see it in you and understand, it's the education side. It's educating and training, supporting our people to learn that you can get ahead in this country. And if we went out there and did this, we in the next four years, it doesn't matter. We will be the best there is. We need other countries to be the best. We're better with Mexico 
going Russia and China, all that, than we are by ourselves. And I'm telling you this, you've got to give the man a chance. You've got to stop because of what he said about this and what he said about that. Because we all, last night I watched the television show, and there were five ladies talking on television. And it was not a cable channel talking about things that you wouldn't want your kids to even hear. It doesn't mean these ladies are bad people. You know, we judge people. We judge people. You know, I'm going to say this tonight. I know about six, seven years ago, I told a gentleman who owned a network marketing company that I wanted to go to the New York State prison job system. And when men and women incarcerated got out of prison, they were to pick up the phone and call me because I was going to put them in business and show them they can get ahead. Show them why going back to prison, that's not an option because they can go ahead. The reason why they go back into prison is because it's easier inside. If you were to show them how they can get ahead and show them and guide them, they're not going back in. And that man or that owner of that company, one of the biggest network marketing companies in the world, looked at me like I was crazy. Oh, you're bringing gangsters and you're bringing them in our business. No, I'm giving people a second chance because not one of us is perfect. And you show me the person that is, I want to meet him. You send it to me. Give the man Mr. Donald Trump. I know people that know him. I know people that know Hillary Clinton. And they're both good people. And I know they've both done things wrong. We all. Give the man a chance. Get behind him. Support him. Express your views. Express your opinions. Because I know that he's going to build a team that's going to lead this country Back to where we, where, uh, where we were. I travel every week almost around the world. And people are watching these, 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 these killings and these shootings and all this. And they're looking at us as we're almost third world. They're laughing at us. we got to come together. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to educate our people. The inner city, everyone talks about the inner cities. We get everybody out of people. Everybody out of people. at the end of the year. They're, they don't want to be there. Nobody says I want to live like that. I want my child. But I know for a fact that if you put me in a room with every single leader in this world of every country, I bring everybody together. Because that's why the, the God gave me the ability to have a successful company. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. My Wi-Fi really, really got problem in here today. And, but I sit here tonight and I, and, I, and I plead to the people around this country and around the world to know that, guess what? Yes, we all have our own beliefs and opinions. But why not now stand down and stop talking about who did you vote for and what, what do you believe? How about say, you know what? He's going to be our next president. You all know one thing I can tell you for sure. Donald Trump's going to be our president in January. That's the only thing we know. But if we get behind them and get behind everybody and we work together, we're going to make this country unbelievable. And like I said before I cut off, you bring me in front of any leader in any country, and I promise you that I'm going to bring them together. I'm going to bring this world together. And I know I might be, not be able to save the world, but if I can help one person every day of my life, Create, get, create another job for somebody. And that's why the company I built, the reason I did it, and the only reason, is because I'm getting ready to help millions of people. I said millions of people around the world, millions, break through. I'm going to feed a million meals every single day to the kids that need it. I'm going to bring people out of the inner cities. Inner cities. I'm going to give second chances to the people that are incarcerated. Is anybody you out there and you work for the prison system or not, or Mr. Donald Trump's office, you call me and you bring them when they, when they leave from a drug or, or a child support or anything, you bring them to my office and I'm going to show them they're never going back. Because I don't give up and I don't lose and I give people a second chance. If we all come together, again, I say come together because that's the only thing that matters. And we stop all this 
these shootings of different races and we and we and and stereotyping people just because of race or religion or sexual preference or that we humans it doesn't matter we got the common goal at the end of the day and i deal with it every single day of my life and so it gets tough for me to not understand why you can't let the past be the past you can't change two things in life yesterday and tomorrow we can only deal with today. And I know, I personally, John DeVries, is, are going in the next four years, change millions of people's lives. And if you want yourself to, you can make it. It doesn't matter. Get active in your local community. You've got to get out there. And when people are talking about this and talking about that and that negative, you need to tell them to be quiet. You need to get away. Negative's not getting us anywhere. You gotta love people, and you gotta do one thing: is that's to respect everyone. If you respect them, you're gonna win. You don't have to agree with them, but you respect them. And I'm telling you, we will go forward. This country will become again the biggest superpower of the world. We will not be laughed at. Mr. Donald Trump will not be embarrassed. He's not going to. I hate to say it, but I remember back in the day when I was young. People, when I was very young, people say, oh, you're the little Trump of the desert. Because in Palm Desert, California, I had a huge business. I always used to say, oh, you're the little Trump. Oh, you're like Steve Jobs. You know what? You do want somebody powerful at the top leading that pack. I promise you. You do want somebody powerful enough that knows how to do it. And I believe if you give the man a chance and you give everybody a chance in life, we're going to make it. The best United States will be the best in the world. And we will have these relationships and partnerships of all around the world. Because I do business around the world. And I talk to everybody. And it's a great thing to have people and cultures, different cultures, come together. We are so strong as a world if we do this. So ladies and gentlemen, I know tonight... It might have come off. I'm all over the place, but it's my heart. It's my passion. It's what I want to do. It's the next four years of my life. I know where I'm going. I'm going to use it in my own business. I hope you all use it in your businesses and in your lives. And you can touch other people's lives all around the United States, around the world. Embrace them. But I will say, please, don't judge people. Give people a chance. Give them a second chance. Really understand what they're meaning. And really support our people that are now going to be the leader of this country. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be dynamic. I believe. I believe that's going to create jobs. I'm so excited to hire more people to pay their health insurance. And I'm telling you one big thing. I go back to it. Rally. Do whatever you got to do. And I hope Donald Trump, you see this tonight, or anybody, make sure you mandate health insurance companies to pay portion of the child care. Because you're going to now open up a huge floodgate of men and women who want to go get a job because they can be look forward and they can get ahead. If you don't, they're going to continue to do one thing. They're going to use an excuse not to get off the couch, an excuse not to walk out that door. If you do it, you win. We all win. It's a win, win, win. Nobody loses in this country. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I hope I wasn't just uh, all over and crazy and wild. But you know what? It's my heart. It's right here. Believe in it. Believe in yourself. Know you can do anything you want to do. If you want it bad enough. Know that nothing can stop you. Nothing in your way if you want something bad enough. Respect everybody. Love everybody. And I'm telling you, we're going to be the best in the world. So ladies and gentlemen, have a great, great night. Great holidays. It's coming fast. I know it's Thanksgiving coming up in Christmas. And you know what? This is time to now rejoice and get ready for 2017 and the new regime coming in. Get behind them. Get behind everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless. Have a wonderful night.
Thank you.